Hello YouTube, Tim here. Let me see if I can reposition the camera just a little bit to get you a better perspective. Okay, that's not half bad right there. So, what we have is a U3 curve bow. Not altogether unusual. What I wanted to show you what I've been doing lately is making compound curves. It's a little tight kinked there and we're going to work that out later. But, the basic idea is you start with a normal recurve. I'm using this pot right here. Let's measure it so we have that on record. It is a external diameter of eight, call it eight and a half inches. It's one eighth shy of that. So we have the initial recurve set, just like normal. So I heat it, I place it on here, I take a towel and I hold it down. Done. Now, to make the recurve a little bit more interesting and intense at the end, what I'm going to do is heat the last third of it or so. And then we take this Bush's best grilling beans, no other can will do, obviously. And for the record, that is three and one quarter inch diameter. We're just gonna do the exact same thing. I'm gonna heat the last terminal third as opposed to the first terminal third, right? And we're going to put it on the, uh, the can of beans. This gives us a slightly sharper recurve at the end, gives us a different look, which I think is pretty darn elegant. Changes the characteristic of the bow just a tiny bit. And once we smooth the transition, I think it looks really elegant. Okay, see it's opening up. There we go. Okay. Now as the commercials say, roll that beautiful bean footage. We have the bow. That's it. Okay. I hold it there till it sets. If you'd like, I like to have as much of my hand in contact with it as possible, especially that creates a nice groove for the string to ride in. The more intense you make the recurve, the more important having a groove like that is going to be. If you don't have a groove like that and you have intense reflex and or recurve, you're going to want to make string bridges. Typically on these bows, they're so wide and flat that you don't need to, even if they're pretty badly aligned. I can tell you that my first bows were not aligned very well at all, but they work just perfectly. That's the beauty of this. The bows don't care. Okay. That's nearly set. And there it is. So now we have it starting off at one and then finishing a little bit tighter. Doesn't that look cool? I think it looks great. Well, that's all there is to it. I'm going to go back and just adjust this one. This one was a little bit too sharp. I'm just going to pull that out a tiny, tiny bit there. And then they'll both be the same. I check. I set them both down on a large flat surface. And then I like to balance it. And if the body of the bow is horizontal, then you know the reflex in both tips is the same. Even if the measurements are a tiny bit off, that's a pretty good indicator that you're on the right track. So that's what I'd, I've been doing. Compound tips. I think it's very elegant, and I hope you guys like that. Give it a shot. Tell me what you think. Uh, what techniques have you guys been using? I mean, I've seen lots of cool stuff on the PVC archery and crafting community on Google+, and I'd love to hear your feedback here, there, and I don't know, anywhere. Let me know. Thanks for watching, YouTube.